try it more, Flame Morris. I don't think I'll use a boost, though. Like, as much as I like the damage bonus, I think two oil geysers are better than a boost. But we'll see. This is the range on my boost right now, with a range shard in it. Now let's put it on a flat surface so you can see a little better. In fact, let me just show you what I would do. I would do like... This. Uh... That. You can actually fit five of them. I've tried it. I tried it in the tavern. You can actually fit five around the circle of it with uh, like full range flame auras. There's no gambit for it. Uh, I use the slow shard for boost auras and crit damage because these are here to boost the crit. Um, I mean, defense power is nice, but I don't have um, defense power on the relic, so it's not doing too, too much. But yeah, I use them for slows, like to keep them inside the flame auras. And as you can see, like, the slow is in the overlap of all four of these, so it's pretty good that way too. And then I'm boosting their crit, since, you know, crit's so strong. Honestly though, like, if the slow wasn't there, it's probably better just to use another flame aura. But I like this, I like the idea of it. I don't know, it's merely the best call. But for 10 more DU. I get how much of a slow? I think it's like a 40%. Yeah, no. Yeah, 40% slow. Or 6 They slow them to 60% of the speed. So... Let's get freaky with it. Freaky deaky. So I'm gonna do one flame on the wall. Then just, yeah, one flame further out. I'll have the two sky guards in again. So I don't have to worry about the uh, EMP cobalts. At least on this map, we'll try this. Yeah. I will buff them a little more this time too, so I don't have the same little issue. Like, I'll take them to tier 3, just maybe not right away. Here and... Move it up here. So, Hex throws from this gate at least will get hit. And hopefully eventually die. This lane, though, I'm just going to send it here, and then another one back, wherever I put the walls. Which is here, like always. Okay. So there's my 30 DU extra for lane, plus another 30 for that wall, so a little less traps. This is, like, the most DU efficient map in Chaos 7, so not surprising. But yeah, let's get some of you and uh, some of you going. I'm going to do two, just for lane coverage. But yeah, like, I think just that and not much is going to get through. That lane's a little weird because it's so wide, but should still be fine. Because now they're here more as support than slows. And I know, like, I've got a flame where it's going to stop the slow from the oil geyser. But, like, if they stun, uh, I don't know if you automatically get the ignite proc if they're oiled. So, like, they might get slowed for a short sec. It's mainly, it's mainly for the stun. On the oil geysers, I'm using... One sec, actually, I'll just pull it up for you. This is my oil geyser. So crit damage, 
Oil spell, which is the stun and defense rate. And we pour our enchilada. It's getting a little cold. Have you tried making rippling explosions work, or is it just hopeless? So, rippling explosions, um... Like, the defense power scaling didn't seem very good, right? And wasn't it, like, a percent chance to hit? Let's look at it. I haven't tried it, because it just doesn't look very good, but... I've been thinking about it, um... But I have a 25% chance of detonate dealing. 80% of the boost or defense power stat, so... Uh, their defense power stat isn't very high. What I'm thinking, though, is that if these explosions can crit, they might actually be alright. Later, hey, Jim, thanks for hanging out. But, like, their explosions themselves at 25% chance and 80% of their scaling. So I assume, like, Let's just look at this, um, his oil geyser's at 12k, no, 30k, so what's 80% of that? And you can just say like, hey, that's about what your defense power is going to be, whatever. It doesn't seem worth it, use it, yeah, at like, at 40 DU, it doesn't seem useful. What I'm thinking is like, if I didn't put a range start on my boost doors and I was using them the same way as I'm using them now, That'd free up a shard slot, and if the explosions crit, maybe it'd be okay, but it really doesn't seem like it's all that worth it. Dude, I don't know if they'll crit or not, I haven't tested it. But overall, like, I'm not looking at it as something I want to do. But like what the builds I was doing earlier, where I, or maybe even in this one where I don't need nearly as many traps, I don't have to fit as many in the boost aura. I don't need, then maybe I won't need the range. If I don't need the range, that frees up a slot where I could do that. But in that case, I'd probably go with a mark that has defense power on it, because I have proper relics in this situation, this ideal world, and I go power transfer for more crit scaling or something. No wait, power transfer doesn't work with boost aura, does it? Destruction? I don't know. But... Uh, maybe, maybe. So I have the walls, I have a flame more on the walls. I have the trap setups set up. And now I'm left with another 200. This is, this is where I was last time too. Um, so that means I have 180 per lane. I was kind of thinking I'd just do, like, two flames on the walls. And uh, maybe another trap or something. Instead of, like, three traps, three more traps per lane. It seems a little overkill. Or maybe I'll just put a couple traps on the wall. Like, let's do three traps per lane, so let's do... Help with the Berserks. And then another, like, three oil guys is at the start instead of two. Of each lane. Um, oh, these guys spread so much. I guess it doesn't really matter that much where I put those. This, this, and that. Uh, I'll do three on this wall. Maybe. Even though maybe it's the bottom lane I should do three on. I don't know, for whatever reason I can build a like a lot weaker and it's still always the best one of the bunch. Please get out of here. Get out of here. And this lane, do I have to rebuild? Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. This 
Cancel out Flame Aura on that set. Uh, don't take you out of my deck yet. I need to do this. Every freaking time. Uh, you don't matter, you don't matter. Sky Guards and Flame Auras. Oh. So point three one, point one point five. And what are you doing? Point five, okay, so I think I'm good. Okay, so let's buff these two. And I might just buff them again, so they're at the point where I need them to be, to feel comfortable. So I don't expect anything but Berserks to get through, and even then, like, they might not all get through, if I get the stuns. Okay, tier 1, nothing upgraded. You got through with 3 mil HP. That's not bad, so far. Oh. You barely did any damage down below. So... I did it because, you know, whatever. I had 60 DU left after building. Like, this map isn't every map, so I didn't want to do it this way, but like... It would have been better to do another flame war on the gate, another flame war on the walls, or something like that. Like, just stack extra flames in these uh, spots, then do 60 on traps in each lane. But it, this is supposed to be like a trap-focused build. Well, this one lasts because, you know, whatever, I just did this map. Oh god, legs asleep. Yeah, Flame Warriors are going to hit the uh, EMP Cobalts, Fishers won't. I've actually uh, like thought of situations where like you don't want to use Flame Warriors because they'll hit EMP Cobalts, but overall, Flame Warriors over them. If nothing else because of that, but they, I think they also do more damage as well. Slightly less range. Can't stack them. You know, pros and cons right there, is what, as far as I'm aware. Flame Warriors hit air. Do more damage. Fisher's more ranged, can be stacked. And probably some other things, but... Yeah. That's what I see. Look at these. Then the ones on the wall aren't as important as these guys. Let's do the front oil guys. There's sand traps are CC mainly. Maybe I should have done just um boost or instead of uh two sand traps for light. Cause it's still a slow. And it's an always up slow. There's no stun, but we've got the stuns. Have I done slimes yet? No, I got sidetracked, and now I'm doing weird trap builds. This is the least weird build, actually, of the stream. No problem, G-Stone. No, I could be overlooking stuff, but that's mainly what I'm seeing when I uh, compare them. I'm not sure on the DPS thing either. I could be off on that. Maybe I built wrong, or my 
Ascension was done weirdly for Fishers and it wasn't a fair comparison. Alright, so... 300 left. I don't know, let's just front flame aura. That's the whole point of this build. Get CC trained and then everything dies in the flame aura. And apparently a lich right off the bat. But yeah, Gobu, I've been doing... A lot of trap stuff. Punches traps, oil geysers, sand traps. I'm I think oil geysers are my favorite right now. Yeah. Uh, tiny bit, thank you. So you you think they're more as well, so I'm not just crazy. Yeah, exactly what Juice Bag said, like that's That's why I like them more. That and because it's kinda nice to have the or, it's just nice to be able to use them after them so long of being like really underpowered back in like lightning aura and stuff. Relatively speaking, that is, they're still usable, of course, and I use them, but it's nice to see them strong. They hit for the same amount, but they tick faster. Interesting. I never checked like the actual damage, I was just looking at DPS numbers when I compared. They could do like the same or even slightly less DPS, but it, like because the flame is tick faster is also another reason why to go like why you would go for them in this crit life we're living right now. I didn't mean it to come out like that. I said it real weird. I was uh chewing on some food and I don't know why I voiced it that way. Get out of here. Did I miss? No. Alright, so... Back flames and then I'll do front geysers again. We'll see how much I can get done. Uh, this is 3 of 5, so I don't really have to care. There's 9 of these alive, so I can't do all the oil guys. This really bothers me. A lot more than it should. But let's get the 2 down there, then the 3 up top of the 3 in the other lane. So the priority lanes. Yeah, this flame ore is doing too much, so it's not giving my old guys his chance to sign, uh, shine. They're so good. But we'll never see it this match. The poor slows. God, I love that. What was that? A 3 mil crit? Not on the sands on the, uh, there you go. 2.7 with a base of 214. Yeah, almost 3 mil. It's beautiful. The ignited animation, yeah, it does look cool. <laughs> So shiny. So flashy. Oh nice. Didn't get stuck. Yeah, that's right. You take more damage than you would expect going through there. I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. There we go. Oh, 
please die for me. There you go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be real. This is actually like one of the uh, better setups. Like, I might start doing something like this in my uh, private games. Oh, Average Gamer TV, thanks for the follow. Yo, dude. Like, less traps, but just the big CC trains at the front seems pretty good. Get rid of the uh, Serenity or, or Boosters I've been using, free up like 20 DU. When that's on every map, at least now I can do 4 flames and like 2 traps. How's my day going? It's going pretty good, dude. Um, Doing dumb builds and I haven't been punished for it yet. That's a good day in my book. Looks viable. Yeah, I mean, everything up to this point wasn't really viable as much or like... It got increasingly more viable as I learned what I was doing, but they're all still a little rough. This one, though? It's pretty decent. What would you- wait, what would be your number one change strategy you could do to make this game more enjoyable? Map variety. Talonbird, thanks for the follow. They're literally all on fire. Uh, I'll show you my flame wars right here. There you go, this is what I'm using. No wall, C7. Um. If I had a slightly better flame aura relic, even now I could probably do it. Um, I I assume you could just do flame auras only, even not just no walls. Um, you can do no walls in some maps for sure with weapon manufacturing, like a poison dart tower, stuff like that. People are already doing it, and I don't know. Seems like you can get pretty strong. So I probably won't be doing anything like that for a while. Maybe the Flame War one because I did it in C5. But... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not usually interested in doing wallless stuff. Walls are fun. Uh, yeah, let's do that guy in each lane. Top him off. Kick him in the butt. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of cool things Wallace can do, you know? And... You know, it's like a, hey, my stuff's so strong I don't need walls, but... I like walls. Any tower you'd use an orb on. So, it's weird, right? Um, In C7, and maybe even C... I don't know, C6. Certain traps in C6. Um, in C7, though, an orb ca gets you to the uh, cap for attack rate. So I don't want to use an orb on anything anymore. But... Like, if you want to think about this, do you want me to get, like, max attack rate or as much attack rate, right? I would do it on, like, stuff like oil geysers, um, water geysers, anything like you're trying to get hitting fast. I wouldn't do it on water geysers, actually. They hit their cap really fast. So I wouldn't use an orb in C7 anymore because you hit the cap, because of how they did the scaling. Um, but progressing through... Oil guys, there's er, one, like an obvious one, because I'm doing it right now. Um, C6 and below, I think, like, an orb, uh, flame aura, or a fissure and stuff like that is just as good as a mark or a medallion. In some ways better in this crit world where you're getting more reliable fast, or like, you're getting more hits in unreliable crits. Um, what am I doing? What's my boss down there? I'm gonna do this guy, because I'll clear out the boss faster. Uh, Hexter, I'm guessing it was that lane. Yeah, the six from that lane. I don't know which way they're going. The tower skin on the monk is the hypnotic skin. So I've got it on the, uh, sky guards and these guys. My, uh, boosters actually have the, uh, <laughs> tyrannic skin, because I like that one a lot. Does it make things like power? I mean, you get less out of them, but they're still good. 
I mean, think of it this way. They're hitting not as hard, but a lot faster, right? So those shards, yeah, they're not getting the same numbers, but it's counteracted by the increased attacks you get. And there's been tests, like, in some scenarios, Mark's better, Medallion's better, Orb's better, in different tiers of the game, and different ascension levels. But what I've found, and what others have found as well, is that they're around the same. And you don't always want to have the highest DPS when the DPS difference is 20, 30k. Right? Like a Mark might get you the biggest DPS, but it's unreliable in this crit, so... Medallion doing 10k less has more from the attack damage, it's more reliable. An Orb, on top of that, could be more crit focused, but it's going to hit more often. So even if it's 20k less than a mark, you might want to do that. Yeah, what average gamer said, like, and then there's stuff where you're trying to get on it. Effects, slow, stuns, more procs is a lot better for utility. Alright, where are these hex throwers going? They're going this way. That's the bad way, but they might stand in that flame aura. If not, I should have moved the flame aura. Yeah, stand in it. Stand in it, you jerks. You map ruining jerks. Hit the terrain, you jerks. Oh, were they like pulled down the sand so they didn't hit over the wall? Because they were hitting over the wall last map. Or hitting over the uh, ledge in the wall. But they just hit the terrain. Oh. It's like aggroing a cobalt to your Skyguard, but the Skyguard's behind a wall. Ooh. Idiots. Stupid x -throwers. All right, cool. This is surprisingly this is like my first stuck siege roller, considering how many times I've done this map today. Oh, well, maybe I've only done it like three. All right, who we got? Quidly. Quidly will probably make it out. He's too fast to get slowed. Yeah. What is inside the gate with a roller? Jeez. God, that's a great oil geyser placement for that flyer lane too. Holy. I'm a genius and I didn't even know it. I'm also like really modest and humble. Oh, you're dead. So you're going to start your timeout, but I don't know if I want to wait for the timeout. So yesterday I learned that you can like go down here and hit it with sword beam and... Storm Gloves from the butt, if you hit it right. I'm seeing uh, 371 in there. Yeah, his HP Rider is going down pretty quick, so... Must be the Sword Beam. I'm gonna just stand here. Yeah, look at that go. Easy. Was it Gobu who showed me this? Gobu, thank you. Yeah, it'll despawn after a while, but... It seems like... The time it takes to despawn is unreliable. It might That might be to do with like, it getting hit by something like in the gate, and I don't know. I don't know all this stuff. But like that's a pretty fast takedown. If you aim it right. Clearly faster than the despawn, because I killed it, so... In this case, I do it, but if you can't do that for whatever reason, yeah, you can just wait for it to despawn. Um, what? We got an ogre. We got another ogre. Do we have a Moab? Not there. I'm scared. Terrified even. No Moab. 
Hex is there, two of them. Hex is over here. I don't know, they might attack from up above. We'll see. Uh, I'm not seeing a Moab. But I'll check again, because... I've said that and then had a Moab. Yo, I only learned that, uh... I only learned about that spot yesterday, dude. And I've got over 2,000 hours in this game, so... I mean, you know, Roller hasn't been around for 2,000 of my hours, but... Same shit. I don't know, maybe I'll do, like, the two Sky Guards now. It's a horrible idea. Let's do that guy. You're a Hex Thrower guy. Where are the other two? That lane. That's fine, let's repair. So I think I'm good to go. Ogre, Ogre, and Tuscar. The only thing about this that kind of makes it sad is that those like mass traps setups, like some bosses weren't even getting through, uh, through at all. Now, like, there's not enough to stop him. And it might still, like, an ogre might still get stuck in these things if he decides to throw snot and die before reaching it. But it was really cool seeing, like, the six oil guys who just kill an ogre on their own. I apologize if you heard that I took a bite of my food. That is definitely on the cold end, but it's almost gone, so I don't want to reheat it. I should have muted myself. I hate it on stream, but I'm so hungry. I can't help it. Yeah, only halfway after leaving those things. But, I mean, not bad. By any stretch. Go. Please stop existing. Thank you. Ogre's down. And damn you for being a human and eating food. Yeah, it's just... If nothing else is awkward, it's like... Um, what, what am I thinking of? There's just people watching you eat, but now it's listening to me, like... You've got your ears right beside my mouth, basically, right? And here I am, like, chewing on food in them. That's... that's gross. Get out of there. Aw, oh, are you too far back to hit? Oh, you just... yeah, you better run. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. You do you. Ugh. All right, that was that was solid. And I think yeah, you know, if I just did like two flames at the gate, would have been. Just Super solid. Well, not even two flames at the gate. The only thing getting through is Berserks, as always. And the more I think about it, the more I just want to use water guys. It's for the guaranteed hard CC. Well, maybe I'll do that, but I don't know about now. Because I would want one more mark, I think. I like pairing the sand trap with the oil geyser. A little too much to switch one of those out. <laughs> 